You may have been listening, if you're listening to the news at all, about a movement or at least feeling this even in our own environment and the culture in which we live, that the world, the created order, the way the world is, whether it's from climate change to environmental care, that it matters to a generation. And uh, this is an important thing to pay attention to because they're not the first to discover that the created order matters. We, we've been talking about making peace and the ministry of reconciliation, which is what the Apostle Paul in the Bible calls the good news of Jesus. The ministry of reconciliation, making right what's been wrong. First between us and God, and then between us and ourselves, making peace with our own selves and knowing ourselves. And then also making peace with others in right relationship through forgiveness and repentance and reconciliation, reconciled relationships. Wouldn't it be amazing if that characterized our lives? But even more than that, the connectedness that the gospel has to this current culture and this current world has always been a ministry of reconciliation with what the Bible calls the created order or the cosmos. You know, right from the most familiar passage of scripture, you know, John 3, 16, you know, you either know this one yourself or you've seen it at uh, a football game or a, a baseball match, you know, someone holding up a card for God so loved the world, it says that he gave his only begotten son so that whoever believes might have uh, eternal life through him. And you know that scripture, when it says, for God so loved the world, the world world there, it, it, it's not even world in the scripture, it's created cosmos. That's what that word is in the original text, created cosmos. God so loved the created cosmos, the created thing. In the scriptures in Romans, it talks about how the whole world, the earth, it says, is groaning out for completion, waiting for the children of God to arise. This is a fascinating passage of scripture. The earth itself is groaning under the weight of unreconciled wrong relationships. Under the weight of that, the earth itself is groaning. In other words, God doesn't just wanna make peace between you and God. He doesn't wanna just make peace between you and yourself. He doesn't wanna just make peace between you and other people. He also wants to make peace between you, between people and the created order, the way things are in the world, the way that we live in the world, the way that we hear the groans of an earth that's bearing the weight of wrong relationship. What does it look like for us to do that? I think it looks like us understanding that we're supposed to be intricately in right relationship with the created cosmos, with the earth, it looks like us recognizing that God cares about that too. It looks like recognizing where we're wrong, where we're putting undue pressure or burden or where we can make right what's been wrong, whether that's paper straws or sorting out your recycling a little bit better, whether that's just getting into the beauty of nature and beholding and valuing what it means to be made right with the earth. This is the ministry of reconciliation and it matters to God it's a way of making all things wrong right again. And I hope you get to taste the good news through that in your life.